This video is all about creating a special laminated board, which normally would be done if you cannot find this sort of product as off-the-shelf item or, or a certain thickness is required. So let's say I'm trying to create a 25 millimeter top, which I want to put on top of a cabinet and it's not available. Also, I want to create a 40 mil worktop out of birch ply with the laminates and maybe say 45 millimeter floating shelves. So let's start with the worktop. Uh, let's choose our laminates. Currently, we have Egger, but uh, we are working on uploading for mica, silo cleave, uh, Abbott laminati, etc. etc. So there will be a lot more to come. Um, if you know the name, you can type in the search or you can scroll down and look through all the available laminates. So let's say this will be my top, 39 pounds. And maybe I am looking for something cheaper to go on the uh, bottom of the board, which is not going to be seen. So say white, white, W. 1100, which is ST9. I can add this to the bottom of the board. Okay, so now this is our top layer, which is mentioned here top laminate. Uh, we've got bottom laminate, which is being selected automatically, but we can change it later. Now, material 25 millimeter, maybe I want it out of MDF, which I will want it to be edged, so I don't need to see exposed edge. Uh, let's say we're going for 22 millimeter MDF for now. Continue, and we can select 22 mil MDF, and now we can change to one millimeter alpine white as a bottom layer. Uh, I can select create board, and the board is already created. Now my next version was 40 millimeter uh, birch plywood board. So again, I can use the same truffle brown for a top layer. Now I want to select plywood. Because we are laminating, it doesn't need to be the highest grade. So let's go with the uh, lower grade. As you can see, 24 millimeter is the thickest that is available. So how do we get to 40 mil? We can either do two 18s, which would, be, which would make it 36, plus two millimeter for the laminates, 38. Sounds good? Let's go. Continue here. We can do 18 millimeter birch ply, add a board layer, which is a second layer, and that would be 38 millimeter thickness as the overall two millimeters short of my expected thickness, but it's quite close. Uh, if I want to make it any thicker, again, I can do another board layer and I can select material and I can choose, let's say, 6 millimeter in between. Continue. Having selected this option, now it makes the overall thickness of the sandwich 44 millimeters. If I want to, I can choose different materials. I can uh, make sandwiches out of any material range. So if I would like to, I could get, uh, say, colored MDF which is not common, but I can do it. So maybe I want to add eight millimeter, which is gonna be like a fancy edge to be seen. Valchromat, there we go. We've got a sandwich. Create a board, done. We've got two boards now. Uh, well, basically I've covered the shelving requirements, so we can, we can skip building of the next boards and we can do a shelf and tops and now we can do our cut to size so we've got 24 millimeter which we want to edge so I can say maximum is 3035 so I can do 3 meter length and say 600 wide and I need two pieces and now I can apply the edging to it which again comes a standard or solid lipping uh, one millimeter or two millimeter available and as well as a choice of all other available ones but currently we want to match so 
one millimeter rounding one mil edging all around uh, tops a and the next one we had was 46 millimeter with the exposed edges again maximum board size is 2425 so let's say 2400 by again uh, these are going to be like shelves so they're not going to be too deep let's say 300 millimeters even let's do 280 and we want three of those shelves a we don't want any edging so all we have left to do is get quote we've got the uh, board summary for what I wanted to cut yet again we show all the available leftovers etc laminate summary these are the build-ups of the boards explained with the prices and sandwiching costs and dimensions etc Pressing costs, we've got all of that. Edge banding summary, again, we've done only two parts, so not much to look at. Basically, that is it. That covers uh, creation of the special boards, which can be sandwiched, laminated, edged, or just be exposed uh, edges along, along the cuts. Thank you.